So students, today we are here for the foundation, next series, and uh, we're going to talk about chapter life process. The next is circulatory system. Basically, it is transportation in uh, plants and animals. So I have two no parts of anatomy, but it's transportation in animals followed by transportation in plants. Transportation. क्या जरूरत है इस transportation की? इसी के लिए जरूरत है, because जैसे-जैसे multicellular होता है organism. What happens is the complexity बढ़ जाती है, हर cells अपने environment से दूर हो जाते हैं, right? Environment से यार away. So transportation animals से क्या होता है? अगर बात करें circulatory system, circulatory system it is responsible for transport of various substances. It is composed of these things. ये बहुत important feature है. लेकिन circulatory system को on the basis of presence of these Especially the blood capillaries. In this case, there is a division of the two. One is open circulatory system and the other is closed circulatory system. Open and closed. So, blood plays the role of the carrier of substances. Okay, blood is that fluid. Blood is the other fluid that is lymph. I will talk about this. So, blood and lymph is there. And heart is a pumping structure which creates pressure in the blood. And blood is in the arteries, veins, Arteries for distribution and veins are for collection of the deoxygenated blood to be heart. So heart. So heart is a muscular organ composed of cardiac muscles. Cardiac muscles के क्या features होते हैं? तो cardiac muscles के अगर हम features की बात करते हैं, तो it is always involuntary, immune to fatigue. It is immune to fatigue. इसलिए इस तरह questions आ सकते हैं। एक तो diagram based कि आप डायग्राम से अंडरस्टैंड करो कि कार्डियक मसल्स को आईडेंटिफाई करो एंड देन उसके फीचर्स जब हम ये फीचर्स हैं कि कौन सा मसल हो सकता है सो इनवॉलेंट्री है इन में इट इस इम्यून टू फटीक देन इट इस ब्रांच इट इस ब्रांच माइल्ड स्ट्रेशंस होते हैं बहुत ज़्यादा डेंस नहीं है माइल्ड स्ट्रेशंस आ a zigzag pattern, जहाँ पर ही plasma membranes, दो cells की इनके membranes की arrange होती हैं, like this, so there is intercalated discs. इस तरह से zigzag pattern होता है, and we call it intercalated discs, right? और we call it intercalated disc. यहाँ पर एक बहुत ही important question बनता है, और वो है कि ये intercalated disc है क्या? So it is actually a type a type of a cell junction. और इसको हम कहते हैं, these are the cell junctions, particularly gap junction and desmosomes. Gap junctions भी होते हैं और desmosomes होते हैं. Desmosomes maintain का काम करते हैं cells को आपस में उसको सुमेंटेड करता है और जो this gap junctions there, it is responsible for the very fast conduction, fast conduction of ions or very fast Conduction of ions. क्योंकि जब हम heart का structure working करते हैं cardiac cycle, उसमें पढ़ते हैं systole diastole. So a very strong contraction and then relaxation. So why is it so कि सभी artery arteries एक साथ ही all the both the arteries they are actually getting you know simultaneously they are getting the message to contract. So they work synthesis. यानी एक साथ जब bunch में इकट्ठा काम होता है in a group that is known as syncytial. So it is a very fast conduction of ions so that we can say that's the reason the heart muscles contract simultaneously at the same pace and so we call it functionally syncytial. We call it functionally syncytial. Right, functionally syncytial. So cardiac में और हर fiber का एक ही nucleus होता है remember it that this is one nucleus only per fibers so it is not it is uni nucleated structure but intercalated discs right this is very important and this question is so important that हम लोग week में भी बहुत pressure इसके लिए कि ये concept clear रहे कि intercalated discs आखिर है क्या और सब क्या रोल है यहाँ पर भी देख सकते हैं कि ये gap junctions और desmosomes होते हैं Next, after this, we talk about heart के बारे में कि भाई structure हमने cardiac muscles के features बताए small it can fit inside an adult's fist 
मतलब इट इज साइज ऑफ द हार्ट इज इक्वल टू योर ओन फिस्ट आपकी मुट्ठी वाली द हार्ट इज अ कंप्लीट ऑर्गन व्हिच कम्स फ्रॉम ब्लड एंड द ह्यूमन हार्ट इज कंपोज्ड ऑफ फोर चेंबर्स तो हार्ट का जो एवोल्यूशन हुआ है दैट इज फ्रॉम टू चेंबर्स थ्री पार्टली फोर चेंबर्ड एंड फोर चेंबर्ड इट इज फ्रॉम सिंगल सर्कुलेशन टू यू कैन से इनकंप्लीट डबल सर्कुलेशन एंड देन फाइनली इट इज कंप्लीट डबल सर्कुलेशन तो उसके लिए मैं आपको एक वो बता देती हूँ यहाँ पर आप देख सकते हो कि जो एवोल्यूशन ऑफ हार्ट है इट इज ऑलवेज टू टू फोर चेम्बर सो फिशियंस में लाइक टू चेम्बर में We see that in this single circulation, if fishes me hota hai, so venous heart kya hai? Because this is the only in fishes ki jo deoxygenated blood receive karte hain. So it contains only deoxygenated blood. So this is two chamber. This is a gill suppose, and this is one ventricle, one auricle, ek ek hi hai inke pas, and this is the systemic circulation. So what happens? My body se jo deoxygenated blood hai, jo blue color se aadhi kya? This goes to the auricles. Auricles के बाद फिर it goes to the ventricles. Ventricle इसको gills में send करता है. वहाँ पर इसकी oxygenation होती है और oxygenated blood पूरे organs में transfer करके oxygen को और nutrients supply करके फिर दोबारा से gills में ले जाता है. This is single circulation in fishes. Then comes the incomplete double circulation. Incomplete double circulation में ये है lungs. body parts way systemic and pulmonary is involved here but the thing is there are now two auricles because of the one complete septa ab iske paas ek pura complete partition hai so this is one complete partition of auricles but the ventricle is one single one single ventricle is there so isi liye hum mixing hoti hai blood mein and that's cold blooded as well ye bhi cold blooded hai fishes are cold blooded and all the three chambered or one two chambered they are cold blooded but the four chambered ones are warm blooded technical terms hai iski main aapko bata dun yahan pe technical terms mein aata hai jaise ye teen hai ye wale jo teen hai they are cold blooded isko hum bolte hain poikilotherms poikilotherms cold blooded animals whereas double circulation mein isko hum kehte hain warm blooded they are homeotherms which can keep constant body temperature homeo means they actually able to maintain a constant body temperature right so this is about poikilotherms and homeotherms cold blooded and warm blooded right because warm blooded ki efficiency zyada hai completely four chambered iske wajah se there is no mixing of blood and the efficiency to produce atp is better So they are able to spend the ATP molecules to maintain a constant body temperature, right? So that is why. Next, after this, so this is about the evolution of the heart. Next, we see about the uh, other parameters. So let's talk about that. Generally, in our class, we do that series only. But so foundation to according to the essence required, we go through such detail. so heart has four chambers and there are cardiac cycle mein do terms is venous systole and diaphragm systole means jo heart ke cardiac muscles they contract from the blood into next chamber or the next artery so that is systolic stage contraction of the cardiac muscle or diastole is the opposite yani ki relaxation of cardiac muscles is called diastole arteries veins and capillaries ke bare mein bhi hai and then about the blood So let's go for them. Let's talk about them. And what are the various contents we have? 
राइट तो ये सारा जो कंटेंट है इसके बारे में अब मैं आपको थोड़ा सा और डिटेल में एक्सप्रेस कर दूंगी तो सबसे पहले हम बात करेंगे ब्लड इन द ब्लड केस व्हाट हैपेंस इज दैट्स टॉक अबाउट द कंपोजिशन ऑफ द ब्लड सो इन दिस ब्लड कंपोजिशन वी कैन सी हियर द ब्लड इज स्पेशल कनेक्टेड टिश्यू फाइबर फ्री फ्लूइड मैट्रिक्स है ये दिस हैज प्लाज्मा द मैट्रिक्स इज स्टॉक इन इट फ्लूइड 55% ब्लड होता है 90-94% वाटर है अदर सब्सटेंसेस की बात करें तो प्रोटीन्स मिनरल्स एंड न्यूट्रिएंट्स ठीक है ये होता है न्यूट्रिएंट्स में ग्लूकोस अमीनो एसिड्स लिपिड्स ये ट्रांजिएंट स्टेज में हो गए हैं ट्रांजिएंट मींस ये ट्रांसफर हो रहे हैं एक जगह से दूसरी जगह पर जहां भी जाना है इस ऑर्गन में स्टोरेज रखना है लिवर में जाना है इस सेल्स की रिक्वायरमेंट आई है और ये ये मूवमेंट करते हुए दिखाई देते हैं इसको ट्रांजिएंट फेज कहते हैं मिनरल्स हम नमक खाते हैं इसके आवर सकते हो एनएसएल है और इसके दूसरे यू नो पैरल कैटायन्स एंड एनाइन्स कैल्शियम मैग्नीशियम एंड बाइकार्बोनेट्स प्रोटीन तीन तरह के बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है फिब्रोनोजन नीड फॉर क्लॉटिंग वाइब्रेशन ऑफ ब्लड के लिए जरूरी है अदर क्लॉटिंग फैक्टर्स आर आल्सो प्रेजेंट बट इनएक्टिव फॉर्म में ही तभी एक्टिव होगा क्योंकि इसको ब्लड को ना जेल में कन्वर्ट करना है अदरवाइज ब्लड हैज टू फ्लो फ्लो करना है तो डेफिनेटली कैसा होगा Obviously, it has to be liquid form. लेकिन जब ब्लड क्लॉट करना है तो उसको हम इसको क्वालिफाइड किया जाता है जेल में दैट इज वाई क्लॉटिंग फैक्टर्स इनएक्टिव रहते हैं जब तक ब्लड को रन करना है वेसल्स में सीरम इज प्लाज्मा माइनस क्लॉटिंग फैक्टर्स ग्लोबलिन क्या है प्राइमरली इन्वॉल्व इन डिफेंस मेकेनिज्म एंटीबॉडीज फॉर्मेशन में हेल्प करता है एल्बमिन हेल्प्स इन ऑस्मोटिक बैलेंस मींस यूरिन दैट इज ब्लड कोलाइडल ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर को मेंटेन रखता है एल्ब्यूमिन सोर्सेस क्या है आपने सुना भी होगा ग्लोबुलिन एल्ब्यूमिन ये सब आपको एग में मिलता है एग टाइप नेक्स्ट अदरवाइज देयर आर सम ग्राम्स एंड पल्सेस इसमें भी होता है सो फॉर्म एलिमेंट्स में इट इज एरिथ्रोसाइट ग्लूकोसाइट प्लेटलेट्स इन सभी का ओरिजिन बोन मैरो से होता है 45% ऑफ द ब्लड इज द सॉलिड पार्ट एरिथ्रोसाइट आर बीसीज दे आर मोस्ट अबंडेंट इन एडल्ट्स का फाइव million per millimeter cube hota hai forming red bone marrow divide of nucleus e nucleated mature rbc is e nucleated remember so it is mature rbc in mature rbc is wo honge jinme nucleus rahega that is what helping to uh, you know carry the oxygen by concave hair structure shapes the maximum volume to be created inside the rbcs so that more hemoglobin can bind with the oxygen so have red colored iron pigments hai that is hemoglobin or 12 to 16 grams hemoglobin per 100 ml blood may pay jata hai normal adult average life span is 120 days hai iske baad rbc ko screen naam ke structure mein bheja jata hai ye us jo hote hain uske paas mein aisa bean shape ka structure hota hai large bean shaped structure isme it is a reservoir of rbc Right, and it is trapping the RBCs in its net-like mesh-like structures. Usme RBCs stuck ho jaate hain, and then it it is breaking down. It is getting uh, you know breaking down, and it is the uh, third part is called recycle. Ho sakta hai like the heme part and uh, globulin, the amino acids part to play ke baad. Wo recycle ho jaata hai, or is tarah se right. So heme globulin me jo heme heme part hai, uska iron recycle ho ga. Phosphorin ring is further metabolized to bilirubin and biliverdin pigment. वो yellow color के pigments हैं जो bile में जाते हैं. Bile से वो ingest होंगे through the fecal matter or it can be excreted through the urine. These pigments can travel also inside the blood and then they are excreted through the urine. That's the reason there is a characteristic yellow coloration to urine and the stool. So then we can talk about that's the reason the screen go gray layer of RBC क्यों कहा जा रहा है? Then comes the leukocytes, the WBCs. Relatively बहुत ही कम होते हैं numbers में कम एक का छह हजार से आठ हजार मिलीमीटर क्यों होता है? मिलीमीटर क्यों? And colorless is due to lack of hemoglobin. Nucleus भी है. Nucleus nucleus का भी सबसे बहुत important है. बहुत ही specific nucleus देखा जाता है इनका. Nucleus wise they are very unique and life span short lived है. कुछ 
You can see here granulated and a granulated. Granulated, मतलब granules होते हैं इसके अंदर और एक particular stain को attract करते हैं. अगर वो stain eosinophil मतलब वो stain जो है that is acidic. Acidic stain को जो retain करता है वो eosinophilic है. That is based into infections, allergic reactions. Then basophil secretes three components: histamine, serotonin, and parenting. Histamine जो होता है it is for inflammations, inflammatory responses, right? It is for inflammatory responses. And then serotonin is vasoconstrictor. Narrow karega blood vessel ke diameter ko. Blood loss ke bachata hai, chok lage. The parent is natural anticoagulant of the human body. Anticoagulant. राइट इसलिए ये डायलिसिस के टाइप में प्रोवाइड किया जाता है न्यूट्रोफिल्स फैगोसाइटिक होते हैं दे फैगोसाइटोस दे आर मोस्ट मोस्ट अबंडेंट क्योंकि सबसे ज्यादा डिफरेंस हमारा फैगोसाइटिस के बेस पे होता है सो दैट इज फैगोसाइट फैगोसाइटिक इन नेचर सो दिस कैन डू डायफेडिस डायफेडिस कर सकता है मींस इट कैन क्रॉस द कैपिलरी वॉल्स सो स्मॉल पोर्स ऑफ द कैपिलरीज इट कैन स्प्लिट इटसेल्फ because it is amoeboid so it can change its shape it's amoeboid right so that it is circle it is going out and this causes phagocyte phagocytic activities inke nucleus bahut anokhe hain agar sirf inke diagram mein ho jaye ki aap nucleus dekh ke inko identify karo microscope ke andar to wo bhi ho sakta hai by look hai earphones like to rap karne ke liye ear earphones headphones ki tarah hai it is ear synophilic so how you will remember it is मतलब Right, so no granules here, and we can see it. A granulated me, monocytes, phagocytes again. They're more or less same as neutrophils. So lymphocytes, there are three two uh, categories depending on their proliferation. जहाँ पे वो proliferate है ना, multiply करते हैं, grow करते हैं, ना उनका number बढ़ता है और वो mature भी होंगे. उसके बेसिस पर जो लिम्फोसाइट्स हैं वो दो कैटेगरीज के हैं दोनों के दोनों बनते बोन मैरो है लेकिन एक जो हाइमस एक एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड होता है उसको जाके मैच्योर होता है तो उसको टी लिम्फोसाइट्स कहते हैं और जो बी लिम्फोसाइट्स हैं वो बोन मैरो में ही मैच्योर होता है सो इट इज फॉर इम्यून रिस्पांस दे बोथ आर रिस्पांसिबल जिसके से बी लिम्फोसाइट्स बनाते हैं एंटी बॉडीज दे मेक एंटी बॉडीज they make antibodies or the t lymphocytes and they produce an army of cells they produce army of cells right then comes the platelets thrombocytes the platelets are the thrombocytes and yahan par hum dekh sakte hain they are cell fragments they are actually not a two cells they are fragments of cells you can see here produced from megakaryocytes the mother cell is megakaryocytes Their count is 1.5 3.5 lakhs platelets, and in dengue fever it reduces. Right, it comes down. Right, so that is what we see here. And involved in coagulation and clotting of blood, and reduction in their number causes clotting disorders, excessive loss of blood. So that's what the platelets are made up in. So this is how we see that various components of the cells and their specific functions. Right. Next, blood groups. Can we talk about the blood groups? For dietitian, what are blood groups? Have you ever noticed whenever a person needs a blood transfusion for whatever reasons, so there is always some matching of the blood. We cannot give it randomly. So that's how it was discovered by Landstener, and the research was there. And say after the Second World War, when some of the soldiers were dying, and some of them. Were showing mild reactions, and some of them have no effects of blood transfusion. 
ऐसा क्यों हो रहा है अलग अलग उसने बात हुई कि सबका अपना अपना बॉडी रिएक्ट कर रहा था तो इसी से पता चला कि ब्लड ग्रोथ मैचिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इट इज एबीओ टाइप एंड आर एच टाइप व्हिच इज मोस्ट पॉपुलर तो एबीओ व्हाट इट इज बेसिकली डिपेंडिंग ऑन एंटीजन एंड एंटीबॉडीज एंटीजन क्या होता है पहले आपको डिस्कस कर लेते हैं एंटीजन इज एनीथिंग व्हिच इज ट्रिगरिंग द बॉडीज इम्यून रिस्पांस बॉडी का इम्यून रिस्पांस बढ़ाता है एंटीजन मतलब वो ट्रिगर करता है रहता है बढ़ाना क्या है ट्रिगर ही करता है इसलिए ही जेन मैन से तो उसको हम बोलते हैं एंटीजेंस सो एंटीबॉडीज क्या होते हैं एंटीबॉडीज एंटीजेंस के रिस्पांस में जब बॉडी एक केमिकल बनाती है प्रोटीनेशियस मींस प्रोटीन कंप्लीटली एंटीबॉडीज एंड दे आर ट्रैपिंग द एंटीजन एंड देन एंटीजन एंटीबॉडी ट्रैप बन जाता है इट्स लाइक अ यू कैन से दिस इज एन एंटीजन दिस इज यू नो एंटीबॉडीज आर देयर एंड दे ट्रैप इट ठीक है तो ट्रैप कर लेगा फिर ट्रैप होने के बाद फिर इसको फैगोसाइटिक सेल्स इसको इनवॉल्व कर लेंगे और इसको डिस्ट्रॉय कर देंगे फैगोसाइटोसाइटोस जो जाते हैं ये मैक्रोफेजेस के थ्रू दिस इज हाउ द बॉडी इज क्लियरिंग इट्स यू नो एनी फॉरेन मटेरियल व्हिच इज देयर तो ये बॉडी की बहुत ही यूनिक फीचर है कि इट इज एबल टू डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन सेल एंड नॉन सेल सेल्स एंड आल्सो प्रोड्यूस मेमोरी फ्यूचर में दोबारा ऐसा कुछ रिस्पांस होता है तो वो और भी स्ट्रांग यू नो रिएक्ट करता है उस एंटीजन के थ्रू एंटीजन के ऊपर एंड क्लोज इट सो इट प्रोटेक्ट्स अस फ्रॉम वेरियस काइंड्स ऑफ इंफेक्शंस सो एबीओ ब्लड ग्रुप में एंटीजन कौन है इट इज अ नॉन लिविंग एंटिटी दैट इज अ शुगरी सब्सटेंस ऑन द मेम्ब्रेन ऑफ द आरबीसी ये आरबीसी के मेम्ब्रेन के दो तरह के शुगर मॉलिक्यूल्स होते हैं प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन पर अगर सिर्फ एक पैटर्न है सपोज ए सिंबल से हम समझा रहे हैं आप यहां पे ये ऐसे दिखता है ऐसा नहीं है सिंबल है बस और ये बी है अगर दोनों एंटीजेंस हैं खुद की बॉडी के लिए अगर सपोज ये ए और बी आरबीसी के अंदर है आरबीसी में है ये तो ये जो पर्सन है ये ए बी ब्लड ग्रुप हो जाता है इसके लिए एंटीजन नहीं है लेकिन अगर ये किसी और ऐसे बॉडी में चला जाए ब्लड जिसमें ए नहीं है या बी वाला एंटीजन नहीं है तो उसके लिए वो शुगर नहीं है तो उसके लिए वो ऐसा एंटीजन एक्ट करता है क्योंकि तो उसका नॉन सेल्फ पार्ट है ऐसा ही यूज वर्ड एबिलिटी टू डिफ्रेंशियट बिटवीन सेल्फ एंड नॉन सेल्फ so based on the grouping presence and absence of two antigens a b antigen chemicals that can induce immune response presence of two natural antibodies and a and b do ho sakte hain they are the proteins produced in response to antigen so four types of blood groups a b a b and o blood group a matlab jisme sugar hai wo wala particular sugar a b b hai a b ke do do sugars hai rbc ke upar aur o mein nahi koi sugar nahi hai तो ऑब्वियसली अगर ये एंटीजन है एंटीबॉडीज इन द प्लाज्मा एंटीबॉडी अपने अंदर कौन सा रखेगा ए के अलग रखेगा नहीं बी के लिए रखेगा सो एंटीबॉडी बी इज देयर बी में एंटी ए ए बी में कोई भी नहीं होगा और मिल जिसमें दोनों शुगर्स नहीं है उसके अंदर दोनों के लिए एंटीबॉडीज होती है वो नॉन सेल्फ है डोनर्स ग्रुप किस किस को ये अब से ए ब्लड ग्रुप है किसको डोनेट कर सकता है इट कैन गिव इट टू ए Uh, sorry, it it can receive from, donors, it can receive receive from from donors चाहिए हमें इजी हो जाता है इसलिए मैं टेबल पर चेंजेस करवा देती हूँ रिसीव फ्रॉम ए एंड ओ बी कैन रिसीव फ्रॉम बी एंड ओ क्योंकि वो सिमिलर है ओ में कोई एंटीजन नहीं है इसलिए वो सेफ है ए बी कैन टेक फ्रॉम एवरी वन इट इज यूनिवर्सल रिसिपेंट इट इज यूनिवर्सल रिसिपेंट ठीक है दिस कैन रिसीव O can only take from O, right? So it is O is a universal donor, universal donor, right? So like this. Next, on this basis, uh, which blood groups' ke uh, questions ni hote hain. So you can remember this particular square box and remember it. Now what happens? Rh, Rh, a first time this is monkey ne dekha dekha tha. That's why it's Rh from the word rhesus monkey. So 80 percent of human population have this sugar on their RBC, so they are considered as Rh positive. And person that are without this Rh, they are Rh negative. So here this is case one. Suppose there is a mismatch. What is a mismatch? Match is suppose this is the male and this is the female and their fetus. एक बार देखें और ये dominant factor है अगर एक भी एक भी पेरेंट में जीन है आरएच का तो देयर इज मैक्सिमम चांसेस कि द ऑफस्प्रिंग विल आल्सो बी डोमिनेंट 
to the Rh positive. Suppose Rh positive or the Rh positive or the Peter will be Rh positive. Though not negative, it is negative. Right? Male is Rh positive, female is Rh negative, Peter is Rh positive. And if male is Rh negative, mother is positive, Peter will be positive. This is blood in touch to be placental cut, umbilical cord cut, cut the line, fetal blood, and maternal blood. There are chances of mixing. It is this particular combination which is quite uh, you know unexpected. It is not advised, uh, but uh, it's not desirable combination because other we are detected now the first pregnancy where the female will be getting the memory cells, or uh, she will be able to recognize the antibodies. Because of the exchange of blood from the RH positive fetus, newborn to the mother's placental blood. Phase two, when you are the second time she takes a pregnancy, the memory cells are more fast to recover. The second pregnancy, you know, fetus and uh, placenta uh, proteins, uh, antibodies, so cross the body. RH antibody, placenta, so cross over here. Now, go second fetus, second fetus, figure. So definitely RH positive person who uh, had fetus, those RBCs are jumping. So that's why the second pregnancy may have complications are and it may lead to uh, liver damage of the new uh, the fetus. So that's why what happens, you can see here RH antibodies leak into the blood of the fetus, destroys the fetal RBCs. So fetal anemia and jaundice to the baby. And fatal to the fetus, you know, it's a test, so blast of the fetus. This is the remedy. If you have a blood sample, you can see that blood sample is not going to be a test. If you have a female RH test, you can see that it is a positive test. So, in that case, it can be avoided by administering anti RH antibodies to the mother immediately after the delivery of the first child. So, Rogam injection is not going so that is how it is prevented. So this is about the blood groups. Here the blood groups the questions are there. If any parent has, I'll just say, I'm going to do questions on quality. So we have a question of each day. For example, there is the combination which we are working and you have to guess what the probability is. Suppose one is A and the other parent is AB. So what are the probabilities? How you do it? This is always based on a gene. So, other we see a blood group A here, this is given two genes possible. A or A O blood. A or O blood group goes to A blood groups go to Similarly, for the B, it is B and I, or it is B O, or it is B B blood group. And the Donohi parents is the B blood group area. Then comes the A B, that would be. इसके पास हमेशा A and B ही होगा और O में हमेशा no A B तो small I से represent करते हैं जीन दोनों की recessive है तो remember so A so what happens यहाँ पर दो options मिल जाते हैं या तो ये homozygous है या heterozygous है this homozygous heterozygous actually concept यहाँ में आता है लेकिन genetics का concept आपको बाद में बताया जाता है so no worries we can discuss it later again in personalized classes A B AB के अंदर हम लोग क्या देखते हैं? It has two options, A and B gene only. So let's talk about a red square. Yes, a square shape का box है, तो चार और boxes बनाई हैं। हर एक box की probability 25 percent है, ठीक है? यहाँ पर हम ले लेंगे male और यहाँ पर female horizontal and vertical में ऐसे लेंगे। तो horizontal में हम लेंगे ये वाला अगर male या female है, so suppose we take this option. Capital A, capital A, and we have not only one up, A and B. So what are the options given here? You can see that is the probability. So it is 50% blood group A and 50% is blood group AB. Whereas if we take another, we take another red square and we see here this option. Now we have not option A and B. So it is A and I. And this is A B. So it is A A A I A B B I. You see all the uh, you know options and as a fifty percent A option A blood group hai. A B blood group twenty five percent hai, or B blood group twenty five percent. This is the probability. A question after that is if other blood group hai, male or other ka A or female is A B. But 
their son or daughter is blood group D. So is it possible? We will say yes, it is possible. That means it is this combination, right? That means the father is heterozygous for blood group A. So like this, blood group's regression is answered. Next, we will talk about the blood clotting. So whenever there is an injury or a cut, there is always, after some time, you see that the blood is now getting, uh, you know, clot. It forms a clot and becomes a gel. So how is it possible? So we know that in this case, there are clotting factors present here. So blood exhibits coagulation, clotting in response to an injury or trauma, prevents excessive loss of blood from the body. So injury or trauma on a clot stimulates the platelets in the blood, tissue on the side of injury, releases certain factors. So again, a line chain reaction is the cascade of it. Cascade means it is a chain reaction. If one step is done, then the product is done with the enzyme. So this is a cascade of it. Now you can see form an enzyme through no kinase or calcium ions with the enzyme. It grows from it to from it. Then from it acts as a catalyst for the next Fibronogen to activate, activate for DNA using a calcium ion. The question is that the concept of mineral is important. So this calcium ions, but one part of it, the magnesium ions to be done with this the polymerization requirement. So this is the magnesium ions are required for fiber formations. So remember this thing, it is calcium plus magnesium ions both. So fibrin is there, its network, dead damage form elements of blood are trapped in this. And this is coagulum of chalk, reddish brown scum. So this is how it could bring it's a like a fiber, as a fiber mesh with the chakra. This side say, or is made on disease as a or dead cells, tissues, is made as those cells and as a uh, you know, fix the chakra. They get trapped, so it looks like a clot, right? So this is how the blood overall four minute across left hand. Normal healthy person in charge of the blood clotting system. If there is a delay, it's an indication of any kind of clotting disorder. Yeah, I should worry. If the plasma is high in glucose, especially in the case of diabetes, there is a healing delay. These are all about the, you know, the blood, blood groups, blood clotting. Next, what is the topic we we'll talk about? That is, uh, the blood vessels. Let's talk about the blood vessels first. The blood vessels may not be in the types of blood vessels. Yeah. So here we have there is a small correction that we understand. This is the uh, Jamaica interna is still here and it is external. And media is the center part. Green part is media. Right. So remember this thing. So tunica media and tunica media is more of circular smooth muscles and tunica interna it is of endothelium or spinous epithelium, simple spinous epithelium. Tunica externa is uh, like a connective tissue membrane. So like this, it has three layered membrane, it be a thin layers of and arteries are well developed, they are more muscular, more collagen, more elasticity for blood pressure regulation and distribution in nature, that's why capillary is similar outer inner to middle membranes of the Still, so the under the spanners may be to exchange a signal this exchange vessel or veins are more of receiving. So veins have broader human because it's a media and developed many can or it's a walls only to prevent the backflow of the blood, smooth muscles, less muscular, and it is involved. So this is how there's low pressure and speed because it is moving towards the heart, one single uh, direction. But the direction is destination, not the direction. Not elastic form, all is present. So here you can see all these features, right? And other have disorders ki baat kare, so we'll discuss it later because we have a heart panel and heart and the structure is pumping, kaise uh, pump hota hai, and then uska pura cardiac cycle hai. Then we get to know about the disorders, right? So, now our class will be completely completely circulation in animals. And then we will talk about in the next recording I know, who I know for transpiration in plants first. So, I'll show you that about the heart.
you can see here, this is about the structure of a heart and how externally it looks like. We are some resources from the internet. So internal structure, externally also it looks like this. It has four chambers, two auricles and two ventricles, right? Side is this, it was later inverted, right atrium, left atrium, left ventricle, right ventricle. Then it has separations. Dono auricles separated have two interatrial septa or interventricular septa. So Dono ventricles separated in the muscular septa. This is the mixing in the Right atrium or right ventricle in each way. Try this triple, it looks like a three plus sleep flex. It is tried to spit to prevent the backflow of the blood from ventricle to auricles. Left atria or left ventricle to reach in a bicuspid ball or also known as mitral ball. Right? So, why this name so? Because it looks like a bishop's mitral. Yes, so that's the reason. And uh, then we talk about, you can see here, the auricular ventricular walls, they are how they are regulating themselves through caudate tendon. These are the structures. And it is attached to the balls, papillary muscles of the ball, heart, each one the ball where cardiac is attached to. So, you have a kitchen here, so you have balls for cardiac or the balls to catch their muscles. So, this is what they say, these balls are they are opening and closing. You can see they are different balls. So, this is our take ball, different semi lunar balls, our take ball, pulmonary balls. They are semi lunar balls, looks like a crescent. This updates with the Sari walls, cast the open and he can try papillary muscles or say corded and then it's the balls for us, hitch that way. So that's how the balls open only in one direction. So this is about the heart. The heart wall may, auricles are thinner, ventricles are thicker one. But compared to left and right ventricle, the left ventricle is more thicker because it is has to distribute to the, all the body organs to the high pressure. That's why. Left ventricular wall is the thickest to be compared them. So then it has conducting system current, which is uh, automyogenic heart rate. So it is uh, like I'll just show you here. So here we can see that. SA node is sinoatrial node. You can see here this node is there. And this is also known as a pacemaker of the heart because it initiates the rhythmic contraction electrical impulse or go it as a wire. It's a network of wires. You can see these three wires. It is spreading up and reaching to the AV node, AVM, and it is known as pace setup. And then this is a auricles, both the auricles left and right contract. Jahanani current flows of heart contraction and muscle C. Then it goes to the bunch bundle of his, and then it goes to the left and right bundle branch, as it is Pura, and which is known as Parkinje fibers. Right, left and right side. So this is how we see the content. Further. Right. So you can see this is the heart rate or nerve conduction radio in first generation of radio. But he may be contraction. It's a little bit contraction. Or 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 it's a little bit contraction. The blood may go into the respective arteries. So this is the same way it works. Right? Next, after this, I'll show you another video on this. Just wait. So this is about the cardiac cycle. These are the learning objectives, functions of the heart. We all know it's a pump. It has right side deoxygenated, left side is oxygenated. And this is the structure of the blood, uh, you know, the various blood vessels associated with it. It's a very easy diagram to draw also for the heart. You can draw from like this. Just skip a little bit of contents. So you can see the various blood vessels attached. Arteries are away, veins are for return. Then the chambers of the heart, the various four chambers. You can see the four chambers. Then the walls, position of the walls. 
देन हाउ द ब्लड फ्लो अकर्स यहां पर हम देख सकते हैं ब्लड फ्लो अकर्स दिस इज दन हेयर तो यहां पर राइट वेंट्रिकल सो दिस इज लाइक राइट वेंट्रिकल से लेकर लेफ्ट कैन से एशियन दिस इज पर्नरली सर्कुलेशन and after that it is including the lungs for oxygenation and from here till here this is systemic circulation because it is body organs involved so it is double circulation because there are two destinations where the blood is pumped one into the lungs for circulation and the other for systemically so two simultaneous pumps are working so it is double circulation We make a flow chart, right? Next is after this we talk about the next content. What are the functions? Because the the blood has a you know the walls have a function to play. They prevent the backflow. Why? Because a fluid. Where it moves, it will have a low pressure. It will have low pressures for forward or backward direction. The empty vessels are there. It prevents. That's the reason balls are there to prevent the backflow. Next, the cardiac cycle has three stages. Let's see the first stage, जहाँ पर auricles. You can see here. That in this, both are in the relaxed stage. Both are getting filling from the respective veins, and the auricles are giving this blood to the passively to the ventricles. So here and the walls are open. AV wall open here. SLV closed. The semi lunar AV closed. Here, the ventricles' pressure is increasing. Because now, what will happen? If the pressure increases, then SA nodes will fall first. Here, the ventricles are closed. 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 Here, the and after this this is all happens so there is a shutdown of av walls that's why the first heart sound lung sound is generated then comes the ventricular systole is the ventricular ka pressure high hai so is the specific respective uh, arteries mein blood push kiya jayega so this is slv walls open blood leaves it and finally the whole cycle is like that jaise hi joint diastole aayega ventricles relax karega to fir AV valve will open, SLV closes, so second heart sound, lung sound is produced. Right? So heart will two sounds होते हैं, lung and lung sounds. So what is the role of the nodes? They are actually creating the impulse generation, ensuring that the heart muscles are relaxing and contracting in a particular rhythmic fashion. Cardiac cycle is of zero point eight seconds, and just the joint diastole is point four seconds. का होता है. Atrial diastole is point one and uh, Ventricular systole is point three seconds. So these are the functions of the nodes, and that's how it works. If you have short notes, you can ask it there. So it is a double pump structure, right? You can see this particular heart structure as well. This is called B. Jo, you can easily get. You can draw it yourself. This is how it is. Internal structure of the heart. Just the sare chambers, walls. लंग्स तो so, यहाँ पे ऑक्सीजनेशन होता है सीओ टू लंग से चला जाता है ऑक्सीजन इज इनहेल्ड एंड हीमोग्लोबिन उसको बाइंड करता है पल्मोनरी वेन्स उसको वापस लेफ्ट एट्रियम में जाता है और लेफ्ट एट्रियम से लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल में जाएगा लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल में ये आउटा आर्टरी ब्लड टू एब्डोमेन पेल्विस एंड लंग्स लेग्स एंड ऑफ कोर्स टू कार्डियक मसल्स को के लिए भी रखता है ब्लड आर्टरी ब्लड टू हेड एंड आर्म्स इस तरह से ये आउटा डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन होता है आर्ट के थ्रू So this is circulation, and that's why it is known as double circulation, right? So we have some disorders related to uh, blood. That is uh, blood disorders. So I have already told you that clotting related. I will tell you what are the various disorders which we need to understand. 
and just a brief of it. So here you can see the disorders. Disorders of circulatory system may have a high blood pressure. Upper wala blood pressure is slowly put there, pumping pressure, and niche wala put there, diastolic resting pressure, the ventricles is stored up in it. So let's say store of the ventricle is 120 mmHg and diastolic is 80 mmHg. The machine is single manometer. Frankly, a radial artery is to measure the Japan. Normal adult BP 130 by 90 G most of the time, as we have mentioned recently, due to uh, fast lifestyle metricities. CAD coronary artery disease there, dextroscleroson of coronary arteries. This may due to the deposition of, uh, you know, the, the cholesterol, it happens. Angina pectoris, acute chest pain due to less oxygen in the cardiac muscles. Moreover, it is less oxygen in the cardiac muscles, which initiates most of the processes. Cause sudden death of the heart muscles. Cardiac arrest, heart stops beating. That is related to the impulse generation. Pacemaker, can you work with that? heart failure and heart fails from the oxygen to all the systems efficiently. So that is uh, heart failure, right? So these are the various disorders related to it. So you make your notes, do your PPP, which are we are sending in the groups, and stay tuned with us. Bye.